Thank you so much. My name is Pebalo Francis Pebolo. I am an obstetrician and a gynecologist. I work at Gulu University uh, as a lecturer and as the acting head of department, uh, Department of Reproductive Health. I'm also the principal investigator for uh, Gulu University Sexual and Reproductive Health Resource Center. This is a project that had been established in 2021 through support from a Center for International Reproductive Health uh, Training. Uh, the Center for International Reproductive Health Training has two branches, Chad Africa and Chad Michigan. Chad Africa was able to support uh, the first two goals of this project and then Chad Michigan supported the third goal. The goal of this project is uh, basically to improve on pre-service education in Gulu University, clinical service provision improvement in Gulu University and the affiliated teaching hospitals. And then the third goal is to improve on research capacity and institutional visualization. And that has been the one supported through Chad Michigan. For the pre-service education, we were able to establish the very first simulation center in Gulu University. And I think this has actually improved a lot over time since we actually put it forward. At the moment, I can say that we are able to provide a medium fidelity simulation. That means the level of realness is closer. And then with this, we can provide an audio-visual option. The audio-visual means that you can record the voice and the video as well. So when a student or when a healthcare provider is demonstrating a skill, we can actually record that and then redisplay it again. So this will help someone to learn from the mistake they have made by viewing what they have done themselves. Also besides that, we have a very interactive screen, a very large screen that is interactive. And this screen will help us to link the web, the internet, the computer, and then the cameras, and then the audio inputs within the system to a one so that you can interact. And this has helped us to enhance learning we can bring contents from the internet and demonstrate it in the classroom. We can also bring contents from our computer and demonstrate it in the classroom or in the simulation laboratory. We can also be able to write on the screen or actually make sure that we illustrate things that are, you cannot easily draw to show it, you can illustrate it on that screen. And we think that uh, it has improved the way we teach and the way our students also learn. Uh, through this simulation laboratory, we are able to realize a number of things. We did several trainings, uh, both uh, pre-service and in-service training for our students, for our interns, for our healthcare providers. Uh, we were able also to do a lot of collaborations. We collaborated with UNFPA, Maristops, Accord to train uh, local healthcare providers within here. We collaborated with Ministry of Health through Gulu Regional Referral Hospital. We have also collaborated with Lacho Hospital to make sure that we train their interns, also we train their midwives. Also, Gulu Regional Referral Hospital, if they ever have any training, they actually use this. So it's like um, we share a lot with this. The other thing that we also had under pre-service education is to establish the very first uh, lecture production studio. We believe that uh, this is the very first lecture production studio in the country. It's a very simple but robust studio that can help us produce lectures. We can actually have virtual classroom. This is a true classroom where you can actually write on a, on a whiteboard and illustrate on a whiteboard. And your students, the other side, are actually appreciating you a lot and they'll be able to also interact with you in real time. We produce a number of patients' education material. If you ever go right now to Gulu Regional Referral Hospital Antenatal Clinic, you realize that they are using health education material or antenatal education material that has been produced from our studio. And that means that uh, we wanted to have a midwife in antenatal producing by themselves. And then the midwives that the very patient see is the one actually being seen on the screen. But there are options that the midwives can appear to answer questions when patients have questions. And we were trying to distribute this to all the other uh, centers. Like, uh, we have already done that for the more district. We believe that four of the health centers should have actually already started using that. In that studio, we can also produce uh, mini conferences. 
you have maybe few people like five people you want to have a very interactive conference with your other colleagues the other side this will provide for you a very perfect environment for you to have that we can also have video streaming to produce a graphic designing within the studio our expert can be able to do for you a very nice artwork uh, and then also animations we can produce animations the third thing that came out clearly under this theme of a pre-service education is teleconferencing. We were able to actually establish the very first teleconference facility in the, in the university. Uh, and then we have two units of this teleconference facility. One is at Guru Regional Referral Hospital, which is currently being used to enhance virtual meetings and interaction for the local maternity system that has been established by the Ministry of Health. But also we, we hope that in the near future, if we start having our masters of medicines in obstetrics and gyne students, we can actually use that to have some of our lecturers, our, our collaborators that are out there who would like to help us in teaching to teach this. But importantly, now we have already had Gulu Regional Referral Hospital and Lacho Hospital being accredited as a training center for uh, Exacox, which is East Central and Southern African a college of obstetrics and gynecology will actually soon have students so we'll use these facilities to have that. The one at the main multifunctional research laboratory of Gulu University is helping a lot in making sure that there are online presentations that are done by the team, physical presentation that is done within the university they can use that Viva Defense uh, for PhDs, Masters uh, with the other partners out there. So I think it has helped a lot. We also do video uh, conferencing with this. Uh, the second uh, goal of this project was to improve on clinical service provision in section of productive health in the two teaching hospitals and of course to Gulu University. In this, we were able to do a number of things. We trained midwives and nurses and some of the key health workers within the two hospitals and within the university on value clarification and attitude transformation about abortion and post-abortion care. And we're also able to support with small items that are needed for daily uh, work, like for sexual reproductive health, maybe family planning in abortion care, we're able to provide a manual vacuum aspiration. And we still have stock for this, and we can still supply uh, uh, these two hospitals until our stock ran out and then we get some more support in future. The other thing that we were able to do was also to train the interns. This also helped to skill the interns. Normally we provide four days very intensive training to the interns before they start rotating in the department of OpsGain, both in Lacho and Gulu Regional Referral Hospital. And we have a mini curriculum to make sure that our interns get the best from this training. The third goal that has been supported by Center for International Productive Health Training at the University of Michigan is research capacity building and institutional visualization. In this, we're able to do a number of things. We were able to take about 19 of our local members last year to an international conference in Chigali. And that was actually the biggest number we've ever taken in this, and we were able to fly them to Chigali. This year, we are going to take about four, four people. It's only four people who applied. We are going to take four people to Paris in, in, in France for FIGO uh, International Conference. And these are all sponsored. Uh, the other thing that we were able to do is to provide 28 seed grants. And this is the reason why today we have this conference to uh, disseminate the data finding for these seed grants. And the seed grant is basically around sexual and reproductive health, majorly abortion care which is allowed for this country through the law and then also family planning and any other sexual reproductive health matters that will help to improve on the health of our mothers. We were also able to support uh, local IRBs that is institutional review boards or review and ethics committee. We are in the final phase of having Gulu Regional Referral Hospital having a uh, an established research and ethic committee. We supported them through our training. We supported them through providing office equipment. I think their office equipment is actually ready. What is waiting now is just to have the committee 
uh, put there. We also supported Lacho and Gulu University Research and Ethics Committee by providing trainings to them. And also, like for Gurek, we were able to provide uh, small uh, office uh, items to them to support them in their daily work. So basically, that's what I, I have, but a lot is on the ground. If you will have time, please pass by our studio and you see what we amazing work that we do there. You can also look, have a look at our uh, teleconference facilities that are placed within Gulu Regional Referral Hospital, within the main maternity building, beautiful maternity building, and then also within the multifunctional laboratories, uh, research laboratories at Gulu University. You can also pass by our simulation laboratory that is located uh, within the all side of faculty medicine, just as you enter the regional referral hospital opposite the central police station. You find beautiful um, uh, simulation lab there that will actually uh, make you feel really, really happy. By the way, to be honest, all these things you're watching right now is a product of our Gulu University Lecture Production Studio. Thank you very much.